there's a lot going on up here and that's really great for things like being a creative professional, but it's not so great for things like running a business, being organized, being a functional human being, paying my taxes, I don't know. Welcome back to my little corner of YouTube. So today is gonna to be a super short video. I'm thinking maybe under five minutes, but I always say that and then it's like 20 minutes and then I have to edit it down and then it's still not under 20 minutes and it's a whole big thing. But today's gonna to be a really short video because I have one super simple, like stupidly simple trick to never, ever, ever again in your entire life lose an important piece of paper, an important document, anything like that. So without further ado, Let's get into it. So as an adhd -er, or a person with a chaotic brain, uh, which real quick before I get into the video, I started a Facebook group for women with ADHD brains. If you have, if you don't have ADHD, but you have like a little chaos going on in your brain, well, maybe let's just squeak in, but it's specifically geared toward women with ADHD designed to be a safe space for us to come. Oh, dog slobber on my arm. Ugh. Uh, it's designed to be a safe place for us to kind of get together, talk about our struggles, find some encouragement, just have a really positive place. I noticed a lot of ADHD groups on Facebook are very negative. There's always a lot of drama going on, a lot of like, oh my gosh, I hate my life. Ugh, commiserate with me how much life sucks. And I just, that's not the kind of person I am. That's not how I roll. So I created my own Facebook group. It is called The Lucy Project. I'll leave a link down in the description below. If you want to join that and you are a woman with ADHD, please click it and join. Just answer the questions and I will let you in. All right, that was quick. As a person with ADHD and a very chaotic brain, my mind bounces from one thing to another like someone dumped a truckload of ping pong balls into a pinball machine, just like everything going everywhere and nothing makes sense and stuff is falling off the table and just there's a lot going on up here and that's really great for things like being a creative professional but it's not so great for things like running a business being organized being a functional human being paying my taxes i don't know so i over time learned one stupidly simple hack because i'm forever losing business cards post-its my to-do list this that the other thing like so many important things that i'm like shoot where did i put that this is so stupidly simple you're gonna you're gonna kick yourself like i did when i thought of it take a freaking picture of it take a picture of whatever little scrap of paper or document or whatever the case may be that you cannot forget. And then guess what? If you lose the actual piece of paper, you have a backup. Boom, boom. And it can get more in depth, which I'll get into in a second, but that has saved my butt so many times. A syllabus, a business card of someone that I wanted to connect with, a phone number of a friend that I met in a coffee shop and wanted to connect with later. Like my dog's immunization records, so many different things that I now will not ever lose. And bonus, I don't have to keep the paper clutter around in most cases because I have it immortalized on my phone where it doesn't take a physical space. So that can actually help with clutter as well, pro tip. But it just, it's a game changer. It's an absolute positive game changer. So that's the tip. If you like to keep things super simple, you can go ahead and close out of the video only after liking, commenting, and subscribing. Did you do it? Did you do it? All right, all right. Uh, if you want to kind of take it a step further and have a system, which I'm a huge fan of systems, I found that systems are the key to unlocking my little brain's full potential. My brain is not little. I'm actually quite intelligent. You wouldn't know that by talking to me, but I do okay. I do okay. <laughs> but anyways, we'll get into that as well. So having things just in your camera roll can be helpful, especially if you have like an iPhone where you can search for different things in the picture. Like if you search for sticky note, it pulls up pictures of sticky notes, things like that. I haven't actually tried specifically with sticky note, but when I type Australian Shepherd into my phone search, it pulls up pictures of my beautiful baby dog who I just startled by pulling her away from the window. So we'll see if it works for sticky notes. But if you wanna take it a step further, I would highly, highly recommend organizing things and there are a couple different ways to do that so evernote is a free platform a free app not a platform i don't even know if you can access it just through your browser but i know they have apps uh, it's a free app that's kind of like a note taking app so you can throw the picture of whatever into a note in evernote 
type up what it is and then you can search for it. The one that I personally use, oh, we got a little like wind blowing in the hair action. We got a nice summer breeze going on here. The one that I personally use is Day One, which is a journaling platform. It is password protected, it is encrypted, it is all those good things, and you can tag stuff. I believe you can also tag stuff in Evernote, um, but I just, I really like Day One and I use it for a lot of different things. So I will, you know, I can categorize things, I can add a date on things, I can add tags on things, I can include voice memos, pictures, videos, all kinds of stuff, and then search for it. So Evernote is a free one, uh, Day One is a free one, OneNote is a free one, even Dropbox, you could use Dropbox if you really wanted to. You can organize these things into categories on your phone just by creating an album in your camera roll. That's a really easy way to do it. There's so many different options if you want to kind of be able to, so for example, uh, if I take pictures of all of my dogs, information so their immunization records you know any notes from the vet any prescriptions that they've had things like that i can take a picture of those save it in an app and tag it as scarlet or blue depending on what dog it is or even just dogs vet information things like that so then i don't have to scroll through my camera roll for a long time trying to find the things that i've saved and know are important i can just directly search for them pull them up immediately and then always have them on hand so that is something that I do because like I said, I just, I need those systems. Wow, we kept it under 10 minutes. I think that's it. So I am gonna go ahead and close this video out, but that is my super, super quick ADHD tip of the day for you. If you liked this kind of quicker format, let me know in the comments. And I'd love if you have any requests for a video. I have a couple of requests that, um, that were made to me that I'm going to be turning into videos, but I would love to add to that list. So if you have a request, if you want me to talk about something ADHD related, productivity related, anything related. I actually did get a really strange request the other day that I kind of want to make a video about just because it's hilarious, but that'll be another story for another time. I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes just for novelty's sake because that never happens on this channel. Uh, but if you enjoyed that, if you have any requests, make sure you like the video, comment your thoughts, suggestions, opinions down below. Hit the subscribe bar. I just, in the last couple days, have gotten like dozens of new subscribers for unknown reasons. I'm not gonna question it. I appreciate it. But if you subscribe, like, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss my videos, that helps me a lot. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat. Can you share videos on Snapchat? I don't know if you can share videos on Snapchat. I'm an out of touch millennial who does not know how to work the current social media. Just don't share it on TikTok. I hate TikTok. Please, for the love of God, don't share it on TikTok. Okay, that's all. Bye.